What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally. Friday. Snap on Friday. Right there he is. So let's do this. Come on. Big old gray box in here now. Yeah, got the blue one unloaded this week and picked this one up. What, a 72 inch? That, no, it's not 72, it's uh, what is it? I can look it back up again. Pretty good size box. Yeah, the fella bought this one last year and then traded in this year on a bigger one. That's the way to do it. Yeah. He had a dusty shop, look like. Well, I don't even know why he wanted the bigger one because he didn't even, 73 inch, yeah. I don't even know why he wanted the bigger one because he never really used it. He uh, put a few things in it and then it's over up against the wall and that's where it stayed at. Like his whole power door stuff is. <laughs> Golly, ain't that crazy? <laughs> they used some of the doors, like let's say some of these had stuff in them, but not a whole bunch because you don't even see indentions in there, more dirty than anything. Mm. Ain't that something? Well, I guess he needed a bigger one so he could. Uh, I guess he could put 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 stuff in it. Maybe his stuff wouldn't fit in that. Could be that might be it. But he, he's actually had his new box for a while now. Or I say a while, probably about two months. It's delivered straight to him, and I just ain't picked this one up yet. Cause it wouldn't fit over here. And those would be going in and out over here so fast. I was like, hot dang. Oh, well. Yeah. So if I had that Hamilton money selling all them toolboxes, it This is break even with them. That's all it is. Whatever. Half a day's worth of work, get them unloaded and loaded. Mm-mm-mm. I don't believe that for nothing. You, might, you better start believing that. <laughs> well, before we get too far into the video this week, I want to wish my old buddy, Sean, He's yeah. in the Marine Corps. A happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Sean. So, y'all tell Sean happy birthday in the comments and thank you for your service and thank you for watching our channel because that's that's what keeps it going. He uh, just got back home from overseas, didn't he? I don't or has he been home for a little remember. while? I can't remember what it was. I know, you know, his wife, she messaged me on there. And, yeah. And uh, that was pretty cool. I'll put a picture of him up there wearing a coon trucking hat. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> You guys can see that. But, well, we know you got one box delivered, but we don't know what's in it yet. Yeah, we have to open it up. I got uh, three or four more coming to the house. I wasn't sure. They called me yesterday and said, hey, we're going to deliver a box out there to you. And uh, I was like, you on at your house or you on in Boneville? I said, well, carry it to Boneville. It'd be yeah. easier up there, you know. And I wasn't sure what all was. Is it just <laughs> one box that they dropped off? Yeah. It's well, probably so, road cart so pallet. Yeah, the... Uh, the uh, say a guy come in. He said, "Are you the snap on guy?" I said, "No, nah, I wished." <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have to work for a living. <laughs> they started laughing like he didn't even argue with me. He's like, "Yeah, I guess so." <laughs> so I got to do with snap on truck. I don't think I had no tools in here. Just lay the door open right around. They throw money in the door at you. You know, any guy stop. Most That's why they, they just buy me a used snap on truck yeah. and just ride around in it. Yeah, they throw money at you. you ain't you ain't got to be there either. They just throw money at you. <laughs> If it's only that easy. That's what everybody thinks. Yeah. Now, Snap-on gives y'all cases of shirts and hats. Yeah, and all, all the, stuff the free stuff away. they give us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah That's funny. exactly right. It's funny. I hear I every Snap-on dealer talks about that. Like Everybody always says, what are you giving away free today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we always get something for free. Just ask. <laughs> I had a uh, snap-on dealer from Florida called me the other day. I was in the house, it was before I left the other morning, uh, and somebody called me, it's from a Florida number. Well, I didn't answer because, of course, I figured it was about my vehicle's insurance or something, you yeah, know. Yeah, warranty. Yeah, warranty or something. 
And uh, well, I got the voicemail. Well, as, as I was walking out to my truck, I, I listened to her voicemail, and there was a dealer from Florida. And he's like, hey, Hamilton, what's up? I was going to call and holler at you real quick, and you feel mine. He said, uh, I'm going to tell you a funny story. He said, give me a call back. Well, I called him. He was a super nice fella. Uh, and he said that they had their sales meeting the other night. And a guy that used to be in our area, in upper management, of course, you know, all the corporate people, they know everything. You know, they're the, the smartest there ever was. Mm -hmm. And that's most businesses. That's how they feel, you know. Here's where Hamilton gets in trouble. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Most of them don't call me. They don't like to hear what I got to say, you know. But they, uh, he was like, yeah, he said, I think we had the guy that used to be in y'all's territory, somebody or another, been corporate-wise, now that he's over in ours, and he came down and be like, this will be y'all's biggest sales tactic ever, like the best sales device that y'all gonna be able to use. And he said, that he's like, no. He said, that's not gonna be it. He said, what y'all need to do is get on Coon Trucking on YouTube and watch your videos. He said, I get guys every week that, he said, I done got all my guys watching. He said, they see all kind of stuff Hamilton has. And then they ask, like, hey, what's this right here? Or, hey, what's this right here? He's like, he said, I may have to call you and get some uh, part number sometime. He's new. He said he ain't yeah. been in just a few months, I think. And uh, so that's pretty interesting. What snap on needs to do is the newest, latest, greatest crap. They, they need send to it send it to you. First. And that way we can show it to everybody. There's a lot of people watching videos. Yeah. That'd be the best way for them to let everybody see it. Yeah. Well, you ain't got nothing new, I guess. So if ain't nothing come in. Yeah, just that, uh, well, I, I know UPS dropped some stuff off at the house today. I'm going to go over and get this box out of here. Maybe get that thing put together. Good in it. What about mm -hmm. my, did you find my ratchets yet? Them 100th anniversary ratchets? Uh, no, not yet. I ain't found them. Got to. All right, there's some snap on dealer. He doesn't say there's a bunch of snap on dealers watching this. Y'all need yeah. to text me. Holler at I need, me. I need to send <laughs> Holler at me, send them to me. <laughs> Somebody got some extra ranges. ones out there somewhere or another. Yep, I need to set of them. Like, they need to be unopened, though. I don't yeah. want them opened. Yeah, he ain't going to use them. They go on the wall. Open. They go on in the wall with the other ones. <laughs> yep. I'd like to have some for myself to put up. Well, you ought to be able to find two sets. I should be able to. What are you waiting on? I done placed my order. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So when uh, have you heard anything? I know Milwaukee, I mean, uh, Matco's got a new battery stubby. Is Snap-on going to come out on I haven't heard. I know we got the new 3.8s, uh, and I've had only one of them and sold it pretty quick. Um, it's lithium. I mean, uh, brushless. They're all lithium now, but it's brushless. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the power, like how much torque and everything. I don't think it's a whole lot more than, I think somewhere around about 300 or so. Uh, how much is the Milwaukee stubby on theirs? I don't remember. It did whatever it advertised and more because yeah. I remember we tested it, but the Matco ones, um, I can't remember. I think it was 300 and something is what it was supposed oh, to be. Oh, they a little bit stronger than the but Milwaukee one then. I don't know. Like, I want to get one and try it. And then DeWalt's coming out with a new one, a 12 volt 3 8 that's super light and super small. It's supposed to do like 475 or something like that. I think that'd be pretty impressive. It'd be a, a real light one to do the that. Matt guy, uh, he had a quarter inch. The whole thing weighs 1.7 pounds. It does 70 foot pounds. That's pretty stout. So, I don't know. I figure the, which I mean, it'll probably be made just like the DeWalt when they do the Mac one. Yeah. So I figure it'll probably be the same gun. There, that's per, that's what their impacts is, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Look just like them. Yeah, I think the the coating's different for oil and grease and crap. But yeah, probably being mechanical use and not construction stuff. I don't know. So I was hoping Snap-on's got one coming. I know one. Uh, I've heard one of the dealers was testing out some of the new the CT. I guess it'd be eight sixty one, but he didn't, ain't posting no picture or anything of it yet. Yeah, I'm waiting to see. That guy that I talked to that was a tester for him, he couldn't send any pictures or anything, but he said it was. Yeah, they. Uh, they said it definitely with. had a rocker trigger on it. That that's the most important thing. Yep. I think. I like that rocker trigger. Me too. We well, got a new TPMS. That TPMS 4. That's a, uh, we got another one out now too. 
Everybody knows a good tape pin bass. You need you one of them around here. I got one. I got um, the new blue Matco one. Yeah. That's what I seen it in there. South and tire jobs y'all do around here anyway. Well, I just, I did a <laughs> F-150 um, and then used it on it. It's the first time I used it. Yeah. I, that's one of the things you got to have nowadays, though. Like I tell you what having... I need is the, the little torque wrench for installing those tire pressure monitors. Yeah, I've seen some of them. They're, are they preset or can you adjust? I think they're adjustable. Yeah. But I need to get one because, man, them things is easy to break. Damn junk. <laughs> break one cost you about, what's one of them cost? 60, 70 uh, bucks 70, probably? 80 bucks, yeah. yeah. Depends on who's, which part store's got it in stock. Yeah. None around here. <laughs> That's about right. My very first shop I went to this morning, I, I'm usually out there for at least 30 or 40 minutes. I went there about 10 minutes today. He was fired up. He gets most of his stuff from AutoZone. He's in that enrollment deal mm -hmm. or whatnot. Yeah, they uh, said that he owed them $1,700 for last week. He said he had the bills. He only owed about $400. Holy cow. So he, uh, I like AutoZone the best as far as... What's what? Because I can pay my bill online. Yep, that's... And that's why I like doing it. Because I don't have to go over there and... Because our AutoZone, if you don't get there pre-5 o'clock, nobody after the 5 o'clock shift can take your payment. They're like, you'll have to do it tomorrow from 8 to 5. Well, that's when I'm working here, making yeah, you my can't money. Spend time here going up you know, there. I don't need to be going to AutoZone. Worry about paying my bill, and I like it because you can pay it online. Well, that's, he said the same thing. That's why he uses them. He, can pay, mm -hmm. he don't have to go up there. He's way out in Wheeler, which is 20 minutes from any store. Yeah. And he said, "My God, he said I'm going up there today, though." <laughs> he said, "I'm talking to somebody." <laughs> and Napa, you can send it with the delivery driver. But nine times out of ten, they'll forget to put it in there and carry it in the office with them, and it'll sit out in the, in the truck in their paperwork stash for return core charges, and then you'll get your bill next month, and they still ain't give you credit. And you yeah. call up there, and they'll go out there and dig through the truck. Well, we found yours and three other people's. Imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> Whoops. Well, sorry. Well, what about all my credits? Yeah, we found them when we was digging around in there, too. <laughs> I'm my cores. Let me figure out how much money they owe you then yep. after all that. That's right. Good old parts stores. Though. Love it, man. Love it. Well, I guess we're going to get back in here and try to figure out what's going on with this Bose radio. Never know what you got the whole dash and console and every wire in it stretched out across the shop <laughs> <laughs> bomb done went off inside the cab it's bad never know what you're gonna work on up here at coon trucking or diesel made it bad. all right guys so we're gonna get back to work thank y'all for watching hanging out with us today like always if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here we added some new stuff on the amazon links check them out and if you're not subscribed you take your finger and click that button just press it you guys have a great weekend and we will catch you next time see ya